Bush Babies is a community art project organised by Canwa. The objective of the project is to capture the stories of babies born in the bush, reserves, missions and outskirts of town. Michelle White, who is the project manager of the Bush Babies exhibition, tells us more about the initiative. So Bush Babies has been going for quite a few years. Uh, it's been in uh, quite a few regions in the Wheat Belt. And the aim of Bush Babies is to record and capture the stories from elders and uh, from you know, people who were born in the bush. A lot of these simple Bush Baby stories um, exist because they, they had to live in the reserves, had to live in the missions on the outskirts of town. They weren't allowed to go into the hospital. And um, what we found in this Bush Babies project that by just using this very, very simple idea of getting people to tell us and share their Bush Babies stories, we're giving them the space to talk about some of the oppression and some of the things that they, they have lived through. Graeme Smith is a painter who took the initiative into turning Nana Purple's photograph into a painting. I saw the photograph of Nana Purple by Jared Singh and I was blown away by it. It is a fantastic photograph. And without thinking, I just immediately said to Jerry, I'll, I'll do a portrait of that for the exhibition, if you like. Nana Purple truly is the heart and soul of this project and uh, it, it was great, with great sadness that she passed um, during this exhibition. She was 100 years old and at the time of her passing she was the oldest known living Noongar woman alive, the, definitely the oldest Balladong woman. Since the exhibition's opening, the feedback from visitors has been wonderful. Many took the time to write powerful and profound messages in the visitor's book. According to Michelle White, many of the Noongar people involved in the project say that they are both humbled and honoured to see their stories presented in such a beautiful way.